How do you start a YouTube video voiceover? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. I spent the month of October drawing with my left hand. I'm a righty. Um, on screen, you're going to see me uh, showing off my my ganglion cyst. It's pretty nasty. Uh, it, it's like a buildup from using your wrist too much, and um, it's pretty hard to get rid of. It's also known as a Bible bump, because you can smash it with a Bible. But basically, I just wanted to try something with my left wrist um, and hand to challenge myself and give that guy a rest. So I started doing some anatomy courses. I did Aaron Blaze's anatomy course. It was very good. But you can see the lines are pretty sketchy and all over the place. So started doing some simple exercises um, and then went back into it. Did some Loomis heads and they're really bad. You can see I put down each line about 40 times before I was convinced that it was good enough. And even then, not very good. Pretty, pretty sorry attempt, but just working through the facial anatomy in the course. Um, again, I was dissatisfied with my draftsmanship, so I moved over to just doing some more like boxes and circles and things. But I was still struggling to hold the pen correctly. Um, I had that happen pretty well down with my right hand, but not my left. So once I kind of got that down, I said, okay, stop trying to do weird methods. Let's just draw like 2D images. So I found some portraits and just kind of blocked them out. And that worked out okay. Pretty good. Did some ink studies. Um, but yeah, it, it got a lot easier once I stopped worrying about like perfect lines and just like found things to draw. Um, that's like the monster from the village. We got a cat with a lettuce on his head and sunglasses. Some more heads and ears. So yeah, I, I started to get a little bit more of a hang of it once I was comfortable holding the pen or pencil. Then I started doing these big, big anatomy studies where I'd do the lesson, which was usually about 30 minutes with my right hand, and then I would do the practice part of it and find a bunch of reference with my left hand. So these are all lefties. Um, just working through the arm and the chest and muscles. It started to get a lot more comfortable, um, and I'd start to use my arm a lot. It was a lot easier drawing on these big, big old papers instead of the tiny sketchbook because I got room to just let my hand fly around. Um, but some of these, to be honest, oh, and that's blurred because I don't know if you can have um, nipples on YouTube. I'm not sure, but. By the end of the month, um, I got to a point where I was unsure when I looked back if it was right hand or left hand, which is pretty cool. Like this whole page, I have no clue if it was drawn with my right hand or my left hand. Um, but it was nice just kind of working through just exercises, not having to worry about how it looks because it's something I'm not very comfortable drawing anyways. And it just let me kind of develop the confidence with my left hand. So I just sort of worked through all the different body parts, um, and then at the end, we uh, did some gesture drawing, which I'd never done before. So I started working on that. Still need to do a lot more. I'm excited to do it with my right hand. But just got a couple of little poses, leg anatomy, some more gestures here, some more blurred out nipples. Just trying to get a hang of it. Most of these I think were done with um, Aaron guiding me through it, bless his soul. And then, for a nice final left hand drawing of the month, I decided I would draw a really vibey picture I saw of two of my favorite musicians, Herbie Hancock and Joni Mitchell. It's a picture Herbie posted of them on her birthday from probably like the 80s. It's got a really nice vibe to it, so I figured let's uh, get started. Just uh, gathering my tools here. It's a nice close-up shot of my cyst. You can really see. It doesn't hurt that much, but when it hurts, it really hurts. I've had my hands seize up before after I was drawing a lot. If anybody knows any good pencil sharpening brands, um, hit me up because I struggle a lot with these. I feel like I either lose them or the ones I have are not very sharp. We'll get there eventually. I busted out my nice, nice, fancy pencils here. The black wings. 
really like the dynamic range you get with them. You can go really dark, uh, but in hindsight, that was kind of dumb. It's not really good if you're going to be like watercoloring over it, which I plan to do from the beginning. Uh, it just gets really dark and you kind of start smearing all over the page. So uh, you'll see I quickly switch to a softer pencil. I think I use like a 2H or something. One thing that was really hard to break with the left hand drawing was with your right hand, you always start on the left side of the page and work towards the right. And I was still trying to do that with my left hand, which made me oftentimes push the pencil instead of pulling it. And with a sharp pencil, that doesn't feel very good. Um, so once I kind of broke that habit, which apparently I didn't because I started on the left in this image, but I, anyways, once I started to break that habit, it got a little bit easier. I wasn't blocking the things I had already drawn for reference. So that was nice. Um, these people look really creepy until I kind of start inking them. So there we go. I'm using a Lamy Safari with the fine nib, I believe, and platinum carbon ink, which is probably my favorite sketching combo. The ink dries super fast. A lot of times with fountain pens, you get like a little bit of smudging and the ink will take a little bit longer to dry and you get beads that sit on your paper and it's really easy to smudge them, especially when you're using your left hand <laughs> and drawing from left to right like an idiot. So. Then I'm filling in here just some values. Um, this is like a, I think it's a Kuratake, uh, like just ink wash pen. It's unlike a lot of them where it's like a bladder that you can squeeze. It's really, it's like a plastic casing. I don't know if I can buy refills for it, but it's almost out. And I have never unscrewed it to see if I can fill it up manually. We'll see. And then we're just going in with some watercolor. I just started painting this month after the left-handed month. So I kind of want to just try it out. And then uh, this is screen tone. Herbie has like a really nice plaid jacket, suit jacket, and I kind of wanted to imitate that, but it wasn't like a big enough pattern on the screen tone, so it just looks like I did a really nice gray wash. Oh well. And then we get to the part where I start ruining Joni's face. I made her look like a crazy zombie, way too bluish white, so I kept just going over with this like uh, white uh, acrylic marker, or it's, uh, I think it's acrylic. It's waterproof and then adding in like some more watercolor until we finally worked her face back up to a human human look so here's the final drawing and watercolor it's really nice I like how it turned out something that's so nice about using your left hand is you get a really nice energy to it all the lines aren't perfect and that's okay you're still creating the same shapes and um, makes it seem a little bit less stiff so I really enjoyed learning this last month and now that I'm back to my right hand I've broken a lot of the habits that I was developing and I draw what I actually want to and not what my hand wants to so this was uh, drawn live on my twitch channel which you can find at twitch.tv slash art of gym the O is a zero in that art zero F gym hope you enjoyed I'm a leftist now <laughs>